Blessed day guys and peace be upon you this man. So in this video, we're going to learn how to configure voice over IP using both data and voice VLANs. Okay. So in the previous video, we learned how to configure a normal a voice over IP. Okay. Just using voice VLANs. Okay. So let's take a scenario whereby we have an IP phone on the desk, on the desk. Okay. And we want to connect a cable from that IP phone to our laptop. So, although the IP phones use voice VLANs, but the laptop will have to use data VLAN. So, before that, I'll just open our Google spreadsheet. I'll let you know that we are in number six under uh, VLAN and VoIP technologies, right? All right. So, I'll also open our uh, notepad to align the steps to follow to achieve the objective. So, the first step is always to draw the necessary topology, decorate, and comment. Okay. All right. So I partially drew this uh, this topology here, uh, so, so that I can show you uh, the device selection. Okay, so we need a switch here. Okay, and we are we need to have uh, three access. I mean, uh, IP phones. Okay, so just click on the end devices and choose this IP phone. Okay, seventy nine sixty IP phone. Put it there. Four of them. So uh, it's uh, it's partially complete. So what we need is just to uh, include a router. Remember, for IP functionality, IP phones functionalities or the VoIP functionality, we must have a voice gateway. And our voice gateway in that case, just click on the networking devices. And our voice gateway under Cisco Pactiza is always 2811 router. So just take 2811 router and put it there. Okay. All right. So after you put it there, uh, what's now remaining is just to connect them. Let's connect them. So uh, just choose automatic from the router to switch. And now for the remaining one, we just do it very, very fast save time. And also from the IP phones to the laptops on the uh, on the table. Okay, so I've made a sample uh, comments here. So you can see our voice traffic will have VLAN 33 with this network. Our data traffic will have VLAN 50 with this network, okay? All right, so the second step is just to uh, plug in uh, AC, I mean adapters, power adapters to uh, the IP phones. So just drag the IP power adapter and insert into that port. So I do the rest very, very fast. All right, so uh, basically we're done with the topology and the necessary requirements uh, for the starting point. All right, so let me go back to our notepad. We can see that we configure three ports for both data and voice valence. So guys, basically we're going to configure this port, uh, this port, this port, and this port. So it's a phase zero slash two uh, until a phase zero slash five. So we just go to the switch. And we create the villains first. Remember, we have how many villains? Two villains, villain 33 and villain 50. So we create the villain first. So we go here and say enable uh, config T, then villain 10, I mean villain 33, uh, name to be uh, voice. Okay, exit, then villain 50, uh, name to be data. Exit, and do it. So we need to assign FA0-2 uh, to 5, both the data and voice VLAN. So we just click on the switch, interface, range, FA0-2 to 5, okay, switch port mode, access, then switch port, access, VLAN 50 for data, remember VLAN 50 is for data, okay. Then you hit enter. Then switch port. Now for voice. So switch port. Voice. VLAN 33. Good. Exit. And do right. So if you can just see. Do show start. You will see that each switch port. Each access port. Has both. Uh, the data and voice VLAN. You can see. Switch port access VLAN 50. Switch port voice VLAN 33. Good. So uh, the second thing that. We, I mean another thing that we do there. Now configure trunk to the interface connecting to the router. 
okay so we need to configure trunk to this interface so this is fs one so we just go to interface interface you can see fs zero slash one is still blank okay interface fs zero slash one uh, fs zero slash one and just say switch port mode trunk exit and do right good so let's go back to our notepad again for guidelines all right so configure sub interfaces on the router and bind to vlan ids not ip and then assign ip addresses okay so remember we have two vlans one for data and one for voice so we have to enable what's called intervalar routing okay so we need to create sub interfaces such that one such that one sub interface will represent voice another one for data traffic okay so we just go to the router and what we do first we identify which interface is this i mean this one uh this is uh huh fa0 0 so we just go to that router and you go to fa0 0 no enable uh config t config t so interface fa0 0 then just say no shut because you can see it's in shutdown state okay all right exit so we need to create how many sub interfaces two the first is sub interface how do we create sub interface just enter the uh, the full interface which is fa0 0 then dot to represent the sub interface now a sub interface for voice vlan being that the voice vlan has the id of 33 now you just say 33 okay and we hit enter and now how do we bind it to this voice vlan we just say encapsulation dot one q 33 exit i mean hit enter then we assign it ip address so this ip address will act as the default gateway for ip fonts so uh we just assign it ip address of 172.16.10.1 so just say 172 ip ip add 172.16.10.1 with a separate mask of 255.255.255.0 hit enter and exit so we go to another interface for data so another sub interface sorry another sub interface will be interface fa0.50 to represent the data traffic okay all right so encapsulation dot one q50 we bind it to the same villain okay all right then we send it a p address so you can see the network was 192.168.10.0 so i'm just going to uh, edit this one 168 192 192 168 10.1 okay exit let's take the first uh, use by periods and do right good so let's go back to our notepad and uh number five now configure dcp pools for data and voice so basically being that we have two networks and we have two category one for uh, voice and one for data then we have to create how many pools two pools okay we just go here and now we create pools the first thing we enable the service service dcp okay then let's create a pool for voice first ip dcp dcp pool then name it voice okay and hit enter then the network you can see is the network is here the network is here 172 172.16.10.0 okay with a separate mask of 255.255.255.0 and hit enter the default router the default gateway should be the sub interface of the voice vlan here you can see it was this one okay all right okay so we just default router is uh, 172.16.10.1 okay and then for the case of uh, voice traffic, we normally include an ad additional uh, command that's called option, option 150. Okay. Then it represents IP of the default router, 172.16.10.1. And you hit enter. Exit. Good. Now let's get another pool for data. So IP DCP pool, IP DCP pool then we name it uh data okay 
and the network is the network you can see is uh, 192.168.10.0 so that must be 255.255.255.0 hit enter then default router should be the default router should be 192.168.10.1 okay exit and do right so basically basically these computers and the IP phones should be able to get uh, IP address allocated okay so if I can just go to these IP phones and try to request you can see it has already picked you can see it has already picked okay because we, we configured DCP okay DCP request access good so for the IP phones they might take long but ah oh, they have already picked you can see them VLAN 33 hub 172.16 10.6 okay even this one you can see uh, it has picked and this one what about this one that's 10.7 and this one is uh, this one has not picked but it's in the process good all right so uh, let's go to the second step configure telephone service so guys basically this was the, uh, the main topic of today's class okay how to configure telephone service so we just go to the router we configure telephone service on the router okay all right so don't worry about this one this one is a result of a, a dcp allocation okay all right so how to prevent this one is just to exclude ip addresses right okay okay so uh we can just do that let's ex exclude as particular IP addresses so just say ip a dcp uh huh dcp excluded addresses let's say 172.16 10 1 we don't want this dcp server to assign uh, any host these ip addresses from 10.1 to 172.16.10. let let's say dot 10 okay oops dot 10 yes that range and also for this one was for voice so for data for data also i'll just send this to 168 then this one is 192 168 here oops oops there's a problem uh-huh so 168 here then this one to be 92 good exit or uh, not exit but just do right good so let's start configuring telephony service how do we configure telephony service very very simple just write a command telephony service then you hit enter then you specify the number the maximum number of uh, ip phones that you want that you have or you want in your network let's just say maximum uh e-phones to be let's say just say 10 okay we just want 10 ip phones in this network then the maximum number of directory numbers or dial numbers okay to be 10 okay all right then uh huh ip source to be to be the ip address of the default router of the voice of the sub interface that represent the voice uh vlan this sub interface okay this ip address now so uh ip source uh huh then just query yes so 172.16.10.1 then we just may uh, write this command port to represent which port for 2000 they're very very simple if you don't write the port it won't work and then after here you just say auto assign auto assign auto assign uh -huh, from one to number 10 because we want to have how many ip phones 10 ip phones okay all right then exit this is how to configure this is all about how to configure telephone service so telephone service has been configured configured so what's just remaining is to allocate these phones dial numbers Okay, so we just go to how do we locate this phone's dial numbers? The number seven. Allocate dial numbers to the phones or extension. So just say e phone, e phone, uh, direct dial number, direct number one, hit enter, then e phone, then one, then just give it a number, just say number. Aha, uh -huh. let's start from 1000, 1001, okay, and exit. Then you go to e phone 2 okay then you give it a number 
1002 exit then you go to e phone 3 so if you can just go to the ip phones they should be able to pick uh, both ip addresses and the line numbers so if i just hover over the ip phone you can see it has taken which ip address 102 172 16 10 11 then the gateway is that one then the line number okay line number is 1001 if you go to this one you can see it has picked the line number plus ip address same applies to this one and finally to this one and all our computers have also picked ip addresses automatically from the dscp server which is the route so we can just try to ping from this ip phone to this ip phone or from this to this one so this one is a uh, directory number i mean line number is 1000 and and one okay so you can see this as a line number of 1001 this is a line number of 1004 so let me try to call this one so it's one zero zero one and then call you can see it's ringing out two one one from one zero zero four you can just pick and you see it's connected status is connected status is connected you can just hang up right then let's set one zero zero four and call you can see it's, this one is ringing out so from zero one then you just try to pick up and you can also hang up okay all right so guys basically i believe, I believe this video is really helping out to configure voice over ip using both data and voice vlans with different networks and vlan ids so when i go back here i'll just mark this section as done so when we meet next let's finish a routing for voice over ip which is called dial pairing then we enter into firewall configuration thank you guys please sub subscribe to this channel like this video share with friends bless you again in the next class bye